G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear. You'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes. You'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture. You'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyze historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to coil a rope. In today's video, we're going to have a look at how to coil a rope. Actually, this is really important. It prevents so much frustration and, and all that kind of stuff. It's crazy. I just went through one of my camp boxes and I found this rope here. It's, it's not the way it's meant to be at all. So let's look at how do we coil the rope. This is uh, 30 feet of rope, 10 meters, um, and doesn't look like it's really been used much at all, but that's okay. All right, so we're coiling into equal lengths. Keeping the rope nice and consistent. All right. Now this is a natural fibre rope, I much prefer to use these for medieval type events. Uh, they're not super duper <laughs> uh, historically accurate, this type of rope, but it's not far off either in some ways. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bind this rope uh, around in the top kind of quarter. Uh, Alright. So we now have, I guess this is the leading end, and we're simply doing this. Three or four, maybe five times. All right. Now to make this super functional, what I like to do is pass the leading end up through these loops like so. I like to keep about a meter and a half or so, a meter of rope spare and then what I'm doing is um, I can now tie this off to something with a simple clove hitch or whatever but then now this rope is nice and neat and tidy. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, if I want to have this hanging off a wagon hanging off a, um, the beam on a tent or inside a building. That's very easy to do. Rope is super useful. We use it all the time in my group. And um, it's just a fantastic thing to have, obviously. But at the same time, uh, but at the same time, you know, need to keep it nice and tidy. Alrighty guys, very simple knot of the week video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.